this plant here is common rush and I'm just going to show you something you can actually do with, with this uh, with the common rush. I'm going to pull five pieces of this, nice long ones. And if you follow them down to the bottom with your hand like that, you can pull them out without breaking them. Five pieces approximately the same length, and now we're going to go and sit down somewhere and make something out of this. Right, so I'm just going to pull off the, the brown bits at the bottom of the stems. Okay. Get all the stems more or less the same length. Okay, what we're actually going to make is one of these. It's a bit like a corn dolly, but it's made out of uh, water reeds. So I start by tying those in a knot, and just a simple single overhand knot. Push the ends through and pull it tight like that. You know if you've got the right sort of reeds, because if you try and tie a knot and that doesn't work, then they're not going to be any good for weaving. So the next thing I do, splay them out in a, in a sort of five-pointed star. Take the first stalk, pass it over two, and then grab the one I've just passed, and pass that over two stalks, and keep on doing that. Just take the one you've just crossed over, pass it over two stalks, grab the next one, pass it over two, and so on. And we just keep on going like that, and it starts off a bit messy, but after a very short time, it will tidy itself up, and it starts to form what looks like a square basket. And after a while it becomes a lot easier to, to work. And you can see it's starting to weave there. And we just carry on like that until we've used up nearly all of the reeds. Okay, and as you can see, it's really starting to form a nice pattern now. And it will naturally form a kind of bottle shape on it all on its own, it just seems to do that. Okay, right, now we're nearly finished here, and so, just to finish off, all I do is just snap off the reeds about like that and just tuck them down into the hole in the middle and just do all five reeds like that and that will hold it secure enough that it doesn't come unraveled. Sometimes if it's a bit tough you might just need to get a little bit of a stick and just help it to help poke the ends of the reeds down there but these these reeds are fairly stiff and so they're going down there on their own quite easily. Okay, and there it is, it's finished. And that took about 10 minutes to make. And I like to leave these um, places for people to discover. So today we're here at, um, at Tar Steps, and so I'm gonna leave this somewhere on a rock for somebody else to discover. And that's my reed corn dolly.